Picks out five, repwebsite.com. You already know what's going on. Today we got CD of the week number 10. Fonte from Little Brother. No news is good news. So this is a really good album. And to me, this is Fonte's crowning achievement outside of like the listening and the minstrel show with Little Brother. This is the best Fonte album in my opinion. The only other one of his albums that comes close to this is Tigalero, which he did in collaboration with another artist. This is a, Tigalero is a great album, came out in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Great mixture of singing and rap. Tigalero was a little bit more singing, but he had some verses on there. But No News is Good News, a little more rap focused, while still doing some of the singing aspects that Fonte is pretty much known for, that he's pretty much pioneered in rap. Um, at least for his chain going forward. Guys like Drake, influenced by Fonte. Guys influenced, influenced by Drake and directly influenced by Fonte because Fonte is like one of the uh, pillars of the sing rap combination. And he's one of the guys who do it, one of the rappers I should say, who actually does both very well. Like he sings well and he also raps obviously well. So no news is good news. This album is kind of centered around the idea that um, and y'all notice I'm in my car doing this. I usually do CD, CD of the week inside the house, but um, I'm waiting for the gym to open here. So just knock some time out, get this done. Um, no news is good news. It's kind of centered around the idea of, in my opinion, being a man. And as you get older, you know, people don't really check up on you as much or, you know, at least compared to women. Women are, they kind of stay in touch. They kind of stay uh, connected. Whereas a man, you maybe don't get as much touch points with people, um, opportunities to be social. But when people do connect with you, it's kind of bad news. So when you do get those calls, if someone needs something or, you know, there's a fire that you need to go put out. So the album title, No News is Good News, I think that kind of plays on the idea that all these times people hit me up and there's all these fires to put out. There's all these different things going on. People need help, uh, whether it's friends or family. Receiving no news is kind of good. You know, no news is good news. Like the idea, like receiving no news is kind of better than nothing. Like I, I assume if they're not hitting me up, I, have to, I assume everything is good. No news is good news. And he kind of goes into deep introspection on this album. Songs like Cry No More, he mentioned how his and to cry no more, that's a song, you know, I, guess I shed tears to real life tears to cry no more. He's speaking about a lot of different things, but you know, the verse I got to me is, he's talking about how his dad passed and they went to the funeral. His dad passed, I guess, of like health conditions uh, based on what he was eating. And then they went to the funeral, him and his family. And then after, you know, after his funeral, you know, sometimes the family goes to a restaurant, they go out to eat because they're all together, you might as well. So we went to the, we went to his funeral, then we left, went to the restaurant, and ate the same type of stuff that killed him. Put my box in the ground, then hit the repass, and ate the same shit that killed him. Your habits didn't deviate, just thought you would appreciate. And it's just like, Fonte, when I was younger, I didn't really appreciate his, the simplicity, but the potency and his lyrics and how he puts rhymes together. But Fonte has a gift for saying very complex things in a very palatable way. So that, and that's what makes his bars hit because you just be like, ooh, like the way he put that together is just fire. So yeah, Crying No More is probably my favorite song on here. Sweet You, which is a song about, I assume his wife. Great, I don't know if it's a sample, might be, it might be him singing. He sings so well sometimes. I don't know if it's like a sample. I don't know if there's a feature. But it might be him, you know, what could be sweeter than you? Nice, smooth song. That's something you can play at a wedding. Um, he has a, a Freddie Gibbs feature on here, Change of Mind. Again, Freddie, or uh, excuse me, Fonte is singing on this song as well for the longest time i thought there was a singing feature but as i've grown with the album and you can see i haven't opened this one yet i bought this like last year maybe yeah like last year maybe more than that 
along with Below the Heavens, but I'm like, I haven't opened it yet because um, I don't know, I gotta open it. But um, it's a great album. But yeah, he's singing on there and it's like, man, like, who is this? It's like, is that Fonte singing? And then Freddie Gibbs comes through with a great, just a picture perfect uh, feature. It fits right in with the beat, with the song. Like Freddie Gibbs comes in and it's, it's like, that's a 10 out of 10 song. You know what I'm saying? Take a little sip there. Um, so yeah, man, those two songs, Cry No More, Sweet You, and also Change of Life. So three, Find That Love Again. Again, this is something you could play featuring Eric Roberson. And if I'm not mistaken, that's who he did the Tigalero album with, Eric Roberson. Find That Love Again. Again, this is something you can play at a wedding, at a cookout, kids around. You can play around the old folks who be like, you don't know nothing about this. They always trying to sell you on music that you don't know about before your time. But you can play this and they'll respect this. <laughs> You know, old folks when they when they respect the music, they used to shitting on the newer music. But when they do respect it, they'll be like, uh, they won't just say like, "Yo, this is hard." They'll be like, "Oh, it's alright." That's one of those songs, "Find That Love Again." It's so good. They'll be like, "All right, it's alright." But they know it's fire, and they know it, it bring that feeling. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, Fonte, no news is good news. This is the album, even beyond the minstrel shows, beyond the listening by little brother this is the album that made me appreciate fonte on a level that i did not before the simplicity and flow and delivery yet potency of the lyrics uh this is a great album if i had to rate this out of five stars usually i say i can't do this on the first listen but i've had this album for years i get it five out of five stars and it's dropped in 2018 any other year, this would be album of the year. Any other year, this dropped, but 2018, one of the best years in hip hop history, along with 2010, along, along with 96, 94, 93. Those are like the top five years in hip hop history to me, in terms of album releases. This will be album of the year in any other year, but there are so many great albums. I had like Daytona number one. You can go check my list on top five, rapwebsite.com. I had Victory Lap on there, I had Swing by Mac Miller on there, I had Tana Talk 3 by Benny on there. So this one, any of those albums could have easily been number one, but this is man, such a great album, potent, 10 songs, perfect length, brings you back coming for more. This is Fonte's best album. And Tigalero, hopefully I'll, I'll get that on. I actually, I've never thought about even getting that album physically, but I should look at and see where that album's available because I really want a physical copy of Tigalero. You know, I was in, Boston. I was in grad school when that Tigalero album dropped to age myself a bit. I was in grad school, so I was out in Boston, and then I was also in Oakland, SF. And I get off the train, you know, the T in Boston or the BART in the Bay Area, and I had that Tigalero album playing. And man, that's a, I'll, I'll get to that album when I get to it. But yeah, man, no news is good news by Fonte. Thematically intact, production's intact, features make sense messaging lyricism everything's here man this is a five out of five star album I, there's nothing i would do to, to improve this album so yeah man shout out to fonte shout out to foreign exchange of music you know, we're looking to that looking forward to that to that next fonte album uh and yeah man be sure to subscribe if you have not already this is top five rapwebsite.com peace